This might be a really bad idea. <gasps> oh my gosh! Hello everybody, it's Barry here. Hope you are well. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to our kitchen. It, it, I think I might just change it, our kitchen. Uh, today we're doing a giant food. I've not done one of these for so long with the virus. I really want to do it with my friend Jiminy James, or of course sometimes I do them with Mrs. B. I do the odd one on my own, but I really like to do them with my friends just for uh, basically moral support and just for fun really. But today might be the first time I can ever do a one ingredient giant food. But that one ingredient is quite a fun one. Yes, this, ladies and gents, is six kilograms of Haribo fried eggs. It's actually my favorite Haribo out of all of them, and I didn't realize you could buy them individually. I'm not going to eat them, no. We're gonna try and make a giant Haribo fried egg out of Haribo fried eggs. I have the painstaking task of removing the yolk, okay, from the egg white, because we're gonna boil both sections down and then bring them back together. One big pot of yellow yolky sweetness and then the foamy white, which I hope that's gonna boil down as well. So we're gonna get it red hot, reset it and reshape it into hopefully an enormous fried gummy egg thing. So I think it's gonna work. It's just gonna take some time. We can hopefully just rip the yolk off of the white, but no, I'm seeing by doing this, Oh gosh, I want it to be perfectly clean. So the white, that is actually fine, but unfortunately the yolk, and I'm gonna have to rip all of these if I do it that way, isn't quite great. So what I'm thinking is, I've got some scissors, we're gonna have to nip off. See, it's getting there. Oh gosh, this is gonna take forever. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that is how much yolk I'm gonna have left. So the aim is, to boil down one of these and one of these. This is gonna take <laughs> ages. Get that off, and then you are genuinely left with a yolk. So that has taken me about, I don't know, two to three minutes to just do those. That's two eggs. I'm gonna be busy boy. Oh my gosh, it's been three days. Um, I'm just gonna rewind and show you a little segment. Oh, this is horrible, this is so horrible. I've been working away at this, no joke, legitimately for over four hours. Had a little break for lunch for 20 minutes and then I'm back to it. So my three kilo bag, this is the first one. We're probably about a third, maybe about a halfway through it. It's just taking so long. I mean, I've got quite a lot of the whites, that looks quite good actually. Um, and the yolk, I mean look at that. <laughs> I promise you, that is loads there. I've tried craft knives, I've tried bread knives, I've tried loads of different things. If I can just get through one three kilo bag, and I think I'll give the other bit to a food bank, plus all the scraps that we're left with, we're gonna be loving Haribo for weeks. Gosh, you know what the other thing I was thinking? Was why didn't I just buy a pack of Haribo yellow gummy bears and just melt them down? But no, I've gotta stay true to it. We have got to make an egg from an egg. I've almost had a new for this. Update folks, I cut myself, uh, and then I cut myself again. Once it healed, I thought oh, I don't need a plaster on it. Cut myself on top of a cut. Mrs. B's helping me out. Yeah, it turns out that um, three kilograms of Haribo uh, takes a very, very long time to empty. So I've left this momentous moment. See, there's one egg left. Oh, folks, I'm getting quite emotional. So this is what I was doing. I sort of nailed the uh, strategy. I just pinch it with my strawberry huller, pull it back a little bit, and then I get sort of like a clear line. That took so long. And it gave me a nice piece of yolk, a good old lump of it that's got not any white bits on it at all. Bargain. Just to give you an idea, Like a handful like this, I grabbed it last night and tested it at Mrs. B. There's probably like 30 in my hand alone. So we've probably done at least four or 500 in there alone. And for me, that's gonna work. If it's gonna work. So now we better try and make the giant egg, right? In this bowl are yolk 
are gonna be traditionally quite gummy, okay? And I think that will boil okay. It's gonna be like a standard jelly. Whereas these are a little bit less gummy. They're more foamy and spongy. And I feel if I put them in a saucepan and direct heat, it's gonna make them possibly stick and weld to my saucepan. So my plan with these is to actually giant food style bain marie uh, over a steamed pan of water. And we'll do this first. And hopefully this will all fit in there. Oh, I'm just getting a bit excited now. I literally have no idea if this is gonna work and I might have wasted three days of my life. I'm gonna be confident and think it does so I can start to make my mold, which I have put exactly no thought into. So we'll just make something with what I've got. <laughs> oh, folks, I've dug into the archives and found a gadget that I've never actually ever reviewed before called the Bake Snake, right? It's supposed to be like a train track that means you can manipulate things and make really funny, can you see that? That's like a butterfly cake. Uh, you've got a number two. I was gonna do some really crazy cakes, um, but as it is, <laughs> the first use of this, oh, it's silicon as well, amazing is gonna be to make our egg shape. This is a perfect wall, so hopefully that will hold it. <laughs> if it fails after all this, I'm gonna do it on some baking parchment, non-slip surface, pull that away once it sets, when it sets, and it could work. Look, can you see? It's like emerging there. I better hope we can get this done. <laughs> I can't remember for the life of me what I was gonna do uh, with these, um, but I actually bought two packs, so I wanted to double it up, two packs. Yo, what's up? I just hope it's got enough to keep no gaps in it, otherwise it's gonna leak everywhere. I think, I think that's gonna look brilliant. Oh my gosh, it's like hungry hippos. It's quite hard to make something look like not normal <laughs> when you want it to look not normal. If I was trying to make a rectangle now, this would be perfect. I think I'm happy with that, all right. But then look at this, look. Can you see that foamy layer? It's all starting to sit within each other. There is some serious goo down there. It's like you stood on chewing gum with your trainers. Oh, I am starting to think though, whether baking it in that sort of setup from the start, it would have just smoothed out, might have done it way easier. Bugger. Do you know what? I might actually try that, folks, because we're getting that gooey layer, but inside, it's like a weird cobweb. Look, there's like a nest of protected Haribo egg whites. I've preheated my oven, and we're gonna just put a little blob in the middle and see what it does. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stop being silly. You're a grown man. <laughs> Come on. No, don't crease. It's literally stuck. Right. Uh, oh no! Uh, right. <laughs> now my hand's stuck! Ow! Right. The baking parchment clearly isn't working, so I'm gonna replace that with a Barry Lewis Silpat. Ding! Alright, long story short, <laughs> that is down on there. Uh, a blob, and what we're hoping for by warming it in the oven, which is gonna preheat any moment now. If that smooths out, that's brilliant, but the bad news is we've then got to get all of that into there. It does cool down quickly though, and look. Yeah, I mean, the least we can do is try it. So just see that, it's quite a lump at the moment, it looks like a blob of meringue. Oh my gosh. It's, oh, it's worked and I'm baking it. <laughs> it's starting to brown, right. That method has worked, but at the same time, look at this, this is finally getting there. I think I'm gonna pour this out as best I can, right? Into there, bake it with foil on it. Oh, this was supposed to be the easy bit. <laughs> yeah, I've just taken it out and that is pretty brown over there. So I'm gonna let it cool. Look how much that's expanded, that's crazy. I'm gonna let it cool, cut that bit out. We'll pour the rest on and then bake it covered so it spreads and fills all of that. I'm feeling very, very hopeful about this. The only stumbling block now is getting that into there. It's make or break time. So my plan is to pour that, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, all right, it's gone a bit too far one way than the other. That's actually loads, that's, that's loads, hang on. <laughs> it's stuck to everything. 
we'll just encourage it into the middle. I think that's gonna find its way, you know, based on the other bit. So, foil on there, bake it for about 20 minutes. Forgot that pan's hot, just touched my belly. All right, in you go, my friend. Shall we work on the yolk? <laughs> so, for the yolk, we're gonna go standard with a saucepan like this. Now that looks so simple, just a big lump of egg yolks, but that is hours and hours of labor, folks. All for you. So I wanna control this one a little bit more, so I'm putting it on the smaller hob ring, and I'm gonna be stirring it like a madman. But, just while that's starting to warm up a little bit, I'm gonna show you uh, the two thoughts that I've got for the mold. This is like a measuring cup, this is one cup. And you can see how that would give us that lovely yolk shape right in there. We could pour it straight in there, let it set, and potentially, push it out like that. So I don't know which one I'm gonna do. It's either this one, or you might remember the giant Lindor lint ball thing that I did. That's actually on the giant food playlist that you're watching right now. So if you wanna put on your sweatband and have a barathon, do check that out at the end of this video. Some absolute stonkers on there. I kept this mold, I don't know why. Uh, I, thought, I thought one day I'll need it again. So this is the non uh, sort of dented side to which we could potentially make. It's a lot wider than this is. This is more height. This would give us more width and a bit more, because the yolk is quite dominant in, in the Haribo. So I think this could work. The only problem is it has a little stump there. Hmm, I think we'll get rid of that with a heat gun. So this might be a really bad idea. This is for uh, generally blasting like wallpaper off of walls and things like that. It's very, very hot indeed. That ain't a game, folks. Oh my God, <laughs> I could melt my lens. You are quite far away, but it's very, very hot. I'm gonna try it from afar, but it's quite wide. It could melt my entire mold. I lowered it, but I remembered there's a hole in the top. <laughs> no, that's actually a hole. Right. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that smells like marmalade. We're doing this. I mean, I know we're doing it, but we're, we're doing this. I managed to use the heat gun again to plug the hole. It's made a teeny little stump bit back there, but look, it's holding water. I'm gonna dry this out. I'm gonna lightly grease it. I'm gonna submerge it in a bowl with ice water so that it doesn't melt this, which is a potential thing that could happen. <laughs> Don't matter, I've got another three days. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's floating, completely submerged in ice cold water, which will hopefully stop that warping. Oh, if we've nailed that, I think we've nailed a cracking fried egg. Uh, New oven gloves for Christmas. It's happening. Oh. Actually, you can look first. This is genuine. You can look first. Boston, Amy, can you look for me? No words. All right, I'm not gonna rush this. What is an extra day uh, amongst friends? So I'm gonna let this cool fully overnight because I, I mean, it's, it's quite thick anyway, but I want it to make sure it fully sets before even trying to remove that. The same for this as well. I think I'm gonna scoop that out as a blobby blob thing, stick it in the middle, but with that heat gun as well, just to tack it on. And hopefully this time tomorrow, we'll have a giant Haribo fried egg made of giant Haribo fried eggs. Stonking. Ugh, morning, everybody. Um, I think it's fair to say we've had a little bit of a kerfuffle uh, overnight. I feel like we've nailed it, we're on the home straight. I've left the dishwasher on to add to the tension because I'm feeling a little bit apprehensive. Um, the yolk is in the fridge, it's set looking amazing, which is brilliant. Uh, the egg white thing, well, let me show you. So the yolk, if I just peel it away, uh, huh. see? See, I'm sure the yolks were yellow when I started cutting it and obviously the burning hasn't helped, but oh, that, look, we've made a fried egg. Can we just stop now? <sighs> here's, here's the problem. Now, when you have the Haribos, uh, generally you'll probably find they're a little bit, they're not sticky at all. They've got a slight, it feels like a dusting on it. So what I did last night, I put a little bit of icing sugar on and took away the edges and it just popped off 
just like this. It was amazing. When I used my knife around the edges, a little bit of icing sugar on there, and it came away like an absolute dream. And I can pick it up. Look, I'm, I'm nearly there. But here's the problem. It's now dried and set, it's solid, and that yolk isn't gonna stick to that. <laughs> There's a little bit of tackiness to it, but I, I think it's gonna slide off. So, we're gonna get the heat gun and try and make a sticky patch for it to grip it, and then it will set, or failing that, we return to the bake snake, bake it again to get it tacky, then sit the yolk on top and let it set. Basically, in conclusion, I probably should have done the yolk first and stuck it on whilst it was still setting. That's why I'm doing this and you're not. What we've got here, with the yolk done, we know that the mold is gonna be round about this shape. And the great thing is from doing so many Haribos last few days, the yolk to white ratio is almost 50-50. It's quite a big area. So this is gonna give us a real idea for where we need to get the heat. So you can see the heat gun just to one side there. My plan is just a very short 30 second blast, maybe not even that, of this area. So see if we can make it tacky so that the yolk will stick to it. If it doesn't, <laughs> I don't know. So the lower heat setting, which is still like about the heat of the sun, from a great height. Ah! All right, I'm going for it. Ha, 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 oh, yes! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, right, like, lip it, lip it, lip it. That's all we're doing, we're gonna lip it. All right, today's word, children, is lip it. Oh, it's sort of doing it for me. Oh, amazing. Oh, I feel like I've just made a baby. It's not like that in real life, I promise. I think we've done it. <laughs> All I've got to do now is stick it in my garage to chill and set, just to bite this. The rest is nice and solid. And hopefully, my aim is, because I could just go, oh look, it's done. I want to be able to hold it up, like properly, vertically, and go, ah, and life will be good. Ladies and gents, it's out of the garage. It's been two hours, and the tray, it's so cold out there. It's like a fridge. That's, it's set it. This is now tacky and firm and mm. <sighs> Now, we must get it off, first of all, from the icing sugar infested tray, and then we'll see if we can hold it up, uh, which is basically make or break. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. <gasps> yes. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, look, I'm very excited. So before I take a thumbnail, I'm just gonna, let's just, yeah, I've got the board. Oh my gosh, I think it was there, but I need to support it and it's very wobbly. <laughs> oh, right, I've just got to go for it, haven't I? <sighs> That's the thumbnail, folks, look at that. That is amazing. I just had to nip and shut the blinds because it was the, the white of the this is like blowing the contrast out. Okay, right, here we go. Are we, are we ready, folks? <laughs> It's a bit tough. <laughs> oh my gosh. It tastes identical. I think we possibly ad adapted the sugar properties just a teeny bit to make it a teeny weeny weeny bit tougher. But that is rather stonking indeed. My daughter's home. You gotta really bite it. I'm gonna pull the other way. Go on. Ah! <laughs> Keep going. It's nearly there, it's nearly there, it's nearly there. <laughs> Can you explain to people what that tastes like? Eggs. It doesn't taste like eggs. Okay, folks, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash, smash that subscribe button with a giant Haribo egg if you wish to be notified of all upcoming videos. Uh, I think, like I said, I teased it in the video, if I have to do another one of these, if you guys enjoyed it that much, I will probably do one of these. Whether I do a homemade mold again with the baked snake or whether I use a cola bottle, I don't know. I actually prefer the ones that are like coated in sugar, but there we go, from one of these, which actually looks, maybe that's a different version. It's a, it's a yellow yolk there. Uh, but when we cut it, it went very orange indeed. And I'm glad I got it out before I did because that could have burnt even more. And that would have looked more like a century egg.
which I'm not doing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the rest of the Giant Food playlist, and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's mustache, goatee, maybe all three. This bag, I was going to give it to a food bank, but they said because it's not individually wrapped, they can't really accept it. So luckily, uh, Becky's friend, or Mrs. Barry's friend, or which actually makes her my friend too, Crystal, uh, she's uh, local to me. Uh, she's opened a business called Sweet Tooth, where they do uh, lots of sweets and they deliver them locally. Now, if you want to freak her out, and actually probably help her out a little bit too, uh, you could place an order from wherever you are in the world for some sweets, and I think that would be pretty cool indeed. So I'm gonna give her these because she can then wrap them up individually, and you never know, if you order one of her packs, you might actually end up with one of these eggs, and I'm not even yoking. <sighs> that could be epic, and she'd be like, why have I got orders from America from random places like Fiji? That would be amazing. I'll leave a link in the description. But also, if you're wondering what happens to uh, giant food once we're done with it, as you've seen in the past, friends and family will eat it, uh, food banks and nursing homes, which we put uh, on videos in the past, which we absolutely love. But with COVID, it's a little bit more limited. My friend Gary has a daughter called Layla who enjoys the video. So what we'll do is trim off the bits where we've eaten and probably have a little bit for ourselves later, and I'll give that to her as a sort of bonus birthday cake. So uh, I won't film that, but that's pretty much where that's gonna go. She, she's a big fan of the videos and I think she likes Haribo, so happy birthday, Layla. Thank you, Barry, for making me a giant fried egg for my seventh birthday. It's stonking.